Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on agenda. Agenda is a date-based styled text note-taking application. It incorporates note-taking and planning in one application. If you want to chronologically track your notes, this is the app you want to get. Agenda is not a handwriting note-taking app. It is a styled text note-taking app with limited inking capabilities. It is available on iPhone, iPad, Mac, and it is a free application with an in-app purchase for premium features. Its subscription permanently unlocks already released premium features and all the new features released while your subscription is still active. It costs $14.99 a year for your iPhone and iPad. And if you also want it on the Mac, that will cost you $34.99 for the year. We feel this is a very reasonable subscription model, new features. And once you get those features, you permanently access them even when you stop paying the subscription. Agenda has one working space that is divided into three columns. The left sidebar is for navigation, while the right one is for planning. The middle and most prominent column is the main working space for your notes. This is a very minimalist approach to note taking and we love it. You can start creating a new note from two different locations on your left navigation bar. To create a new note from overviews under today, for example, tap the plus icon on the top left corner of the middle workspace. You can then select the project for your new note. The default title for your note will be today's date and you can change the date by tapping today. If you want to prep for a meeting or a class, for example, you can change the date and assign date. It's best to leave the date changing after you've finished taking notes because changing the date moves the note from today's notes to the project you've chosen. The easiest way to create a note is to go to the right project for that note. So your project is part of your organization. Tap on the plus icon to create a new untitled note and tap the calendar icon to add a date to it. You can rename your note and start taking notes. You can also create notes linked to events from your Apple Calendar, which is my personal preferred way of taking notes. Agenda will extract all the information from your calendar event, which is title, notes, date, and time. This is great for meetings, and anyone who wants to do more with Apple Calendar and Reminders will find Agenda very useful. Personally, this is my go-to note-taking application for meetings. I have it integrated with all my calendars so that I can take notes and follow up ideas that I need to do after a meeting or something. I'll just have the information in Agenda. You can also create new note with Reminder when you tap a reminder on the right side. Agenda can't extract information from your reminders though, so you still need to use your Apple reminders when you use Agenda. It doesn't bring in everything into the application. Instead of starting a note from scratch, you can work with already existing notes by duplicating them. That way you don't have to waste time copying and pasting when you want to create a new note with a certain template. This is quite a useful feature. You can also split at insertion point to split your current note. This is a quick way to split notes so you can add more information either to the top or bottom note section. This feature also allows you to add a new note before the current one. When you put a cursor at the beginning of your note sections, you then get the option to proceed by new note, which creates notes above it. When you put your cursor at the end of your notes, you can start new note to add a new note below it. You can create comprehensive notes in Agenda and the application is equipped with the right tools you need to meet your note taking needs. You can add the following items to your notes. Headings, H1 to H4, code, numbered lists, unnumbered lists, interactive checklists, format, which you can make your text bold, italic, underline, or strike out, add superscript and subscript. It's impressive that a simple app like this supports superscript and subscript. Most note-taking applications don't have this feature, so this is really awesome. 
Both your numbered and unnumbered lists only have one type of numbering or bullet points. It makes hierarchies a bit boring in the application. Lists are easier to appreciate when you can easily differentiate their different levels and bullets and numberings play a big part in that. Your interactive checklist can either be struck out or dimmed. Both options help you differentiate completed tasks from incomplete ones. Which option works best really depends on your preferences. It's easier to appreciate a completed task when it's struck out. However, highlighting is a more basic feature which the application should certainly have. You could excuse them for it since they have text, but highlighting is still a simpler way to make information stand out in the application. You can link different parts of your notes using hyperlinks. When you tap the hyperlink icon, you can link to a recently edited note or navigate through your projects to find the note you want. You can also add web links for which you can enter the display text and the link. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to search for the notes we want to link to. That would just make our life easier. But all things considered, it is amazing that we can link notes to each other because hyperlinks definitely is our navigation through an application. You can also add the following items to your notes. Date, time, horizontal rule. Tables offer a simple way of presenting information and are a must-have for every note-taking application. Agenda adds a 2x2 two two table, which you can expand to add as many rows and as many columns as you need. Dragging the edges of the table to add more rows and columns would make our lives easier, so let's hope that's something our developers can implement. The columns have a fixed width which makes the table symmetrical. The cell height depends on how much information you add to it, which is quite intuitive. Tap on a cell to add text and you can format it to make it bold, italic, underline and strike out and add code, superscripts and subscripts. We are really excited in that agenda added tables to the application. You can add attachments to your notes, which is audio files, videos, zip files, PDFs, images, etc. After trying a few different files, agenda seems to support any file. You can edit their name. Choose how they're displayed in your notes, inline, thumbnail, thumbnail and title. You can decide actions to take on them. You can preview attachments in a separate window. In the preview window, you can export the file to other applications. You can add star icons to mark favorite sections of your notes. These stand out when going through your notes. Since the application doesn't highlight, Starring can work just as well. Maybe in the future we could have different colors for these stars to color code our bookmarks. You can add photos and videos from your library or take them with your camera. With your photos, you have the option to annotate them when you long press for further actions. This is a better way to attach your photos in agenda. Annotation for your photos is a must have for a note taking app. You can add sections of your notes to Apple Reminders using the clock icon. You can then pick a date for your reminder on the left side of the pop-up window. You can name your reminder and set the time for it. The down facing arrow for your time has options to change to all day reminder or change time zone. You can then choose the list to add your new reminder to. These are the lists you have in your app reminders. When you are happy with your options, create your new reminder without leaving agenda. In your notes, your reminder is indicated by a clock icon. It is very important during a meeting that you don't have to leave the application when you're taking your notes to create a reminder. You can tag people in your notes using the add icon to track your coworkers for different projects which is useful, but we're looking forward to having collaboration in the application because collaboration now in 2021 is a big part of how we're working. And so tagging your coworkers is no longer enough. You can also add hashtags to your notes using the hashtag icon. The application gives you the option to search for tags or people specifically. And you can also organize your notes using the hashtags. So you can add your hashtag to your overviews and easily access them. 
you can scan documents into your project. Agenda uses the iPad OS scanning technology to scan documents directly into the application. It thus has familiar tools that allow you to retake, crop, adjust the color of your scan, rotate or delete your scan. You can preview your scan in a different window without any annotation tools. Let's hope they can add those for us in the future. You can add sketches and handwritten notes. Considering this is not primarily a handwriting note-taking app, it's decent that the application has an option to draw sketches. Agenda uses the Apple Pencil Kit and it works well. This doodling feature is strictly for those things you really can't type. Graphs, sketches, drawings, diagrams. Agenda surely gives you a rich note-taking experience for your planning application. This is very impressive and it definitely takes your planning to the next level. Once you've finished writing your notes, the settings icon at the lower left corner lets you copy as note text, markdown, HTML, plain text, or agenda link to paste in another application. You can move to after next note before first note or other project. You can share, print, add to Siri, save a template, show info, statistics, and create it at, and you can move the notes to bin. The dot in front of each topic has options to mark as on agenda. Making your notes on the agenda adds them to the overview on the top left corner for easier access. Another way to bookmark your notes is to pin them to the top of the project. You can also move a note to the footnote section. Agenda automatically creates an outline of your project from your sections or block headings. You can access the outline when you tap on the name of your project. Then you can sort with earlier date first or vice versa. You can also navigate to different projects. The top of your workspace shows the exact organization level of your note. You can collapse your blocks to see only the headings of your sections or blocks. When your headings are collapsed, you essentially have another outline. For a minimalist look, expand only the sections you're working on and collapse the rest. The left side bar is your navigation bar, starting from the top under overviews. On the agenda shows bookmarked notes for easier access regardless of their date. Today shows all the notes you created today and those scheduled for today. Search all searches through all your notes. You can save your search results and bookmark your commonly searched terms by creating smart overviews that you add to the sidebar. Bin keeps all your deleted notes. You can recover them from here and Agenda keeps your notes in the recycle bin until you delete them. The bottom arrows on the right navigate through your history in the application, the sort of navigation you find in a web browser. The plus icon on the left lets you add a new project or new category. Agenda organizes your notes into categories, subcategories, and projects. You can collapse your categories and subcategories for a minimalist look and expand them at will. Agenda allows you to have subcategories within subcategories, which is great if you like multiple organizational levels. Projects contain your dated note sections. The three dots icon on the side of each category lets you create new project in category. Edit category, add subcategory, delete category. The three dots on your project lets you rename, copy as to paste in other applications. You can share your notes in multiple formats. You can print, which will give you options to export a PDF if you want. Add to Siri for creating Siri shortcuts. Archive project when completed. At the bottom of each category, you can get to see the number of archived projects. Show information on the project. Then you can move to the bin. 
The right sidebar is the planning part of agenda, all the date related information in the application. It has sections for your Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders, recently edited and related notes. The plus icon on the top left corner lets you create a new event or a quick reminder. On the left side of the pop up window, you can pick a date for your event. Then you can add event title, pick the time when your event starts and end. The down facing arrow lets you change to all day event or change time zone. Choose a calendar for your new event. Add location, URL, and set a let before the event. Agenda has an option to create a quick reminder. You can pick a date for a new reminder and add reminder title and pick a list for your reminder. Tapping on a reminder gives you options to add to selected note. New note with reminder, mark as completed, quick reschedule to as early as five minutes, edit show in reminders. Under your reminders, you can access your recently edited and related notes. Related notes contain similar traits like tags and people. Agenda does not have multiple instances. It could be handy when you want to compare projects. You can use Scribble to take notes in the application. Agenda looks beautiful in dark mode. The application has relevant notes widget that comes in three sizes. You can choose to see all on the agenda today and upcoming. This widget is very useful. You can turn on options to determine how your application behaves. You can add empty note to new project. Mark new notes as on the agenda. Assign new note to today. Only draw with Apple Pencil. Sync notes between devices via iCloud or Dropbox. Agenda has a very defective syncing engine. If you are unlucky to get plagued by this common bug, you can potentially fail to sync your notes between your Mac and iPad. The notes on my Mac are very different from what's on my iPad because the application failed to sync. You can determine how your application looks by customizing your interface appearance, accent, color text size, line spacing, tags, people, and attachments can be prominent or subdued. Prominent makes your tags stand out in your text. An ordered list can either be dashed or bulleted. And ticked items can either be default, strike through, or grayed out. For your events, Show Calendars lets you pick the calendars you want to display from Apple Calendar. You can pick your first day of the week, show dates as relative to today. You can import event notes. And for your reminders, Show Lists lets you pick the list you want to display from Apple Reminders. And you can create all day reminders by default. Agenda is excellent for planning and note taking. The seamless integration with Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders makes Agenda a powerful planning application. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let us know what you like about Agenda. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.